All right, guys, so it has been a minute since I've gotten you guys a video, but I got some here, got some to work on, gonna have some videos out. I finally have an SRT4. Yeah, it's not actually mine. It's next best, best thing. It's actually my friend's, and I'm gonna be working on it here for like a week at least, and I'll probably be doing lots more work on it, but at least to get it running. It kind of runs and drives, but it has some issues, so... First of all, um, 2004 Dodge Neon SRT4, um, it's red, it's got I think 118,000 miles on it, I believe the engine was just rebuilt, so the first issue is valve seals, it smokes a little bit, the, I guess the valve seals weren't seated properly when it was rebuilt, like they weren't put in there correctly, so I'm going to have to redo the valve seals. Second thing is, alright guys, so I just realized, um, when I was talking there, I made it kind of sound like I was going to list off a bunch of issues. Only the first thing I list off was an issue. It was the valve seals. Um, and then I talked about some more stuff there. So, yeah, just so you may, just so you know, the other things I started listing off, like the second thing was the turbo. There's no issue with it, um, but you'll know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. It's got, you'll probably notice here, it's got it's supposed to have. I might take the take the AGP uh, turbo, basically a cover off, um, and see if it for sure is. But it's supposed to be a precision turbo uh, 0.63 trim. Not real sure what that means, but that's what it's supposed to be. Um, it's got I believe uh, Dishworks 1000 cc injectors, Walbro HD fuel pump I believe. Um, Boomba fuel rail. Um, it's got Grim Speed, um, boost controller, Aeromotive, I believe, fuel regulator, um, towel blow valve, uh, precision uh, wastegate. Uh, let me see. Several, several good things. Pretty good stuff on the car already. So that's why he actually got it is got it for about six grand um and then the extra set of wheels with it well it's a little over that but um yeah it's got some issues and we actually pulled the bumper off so we could actually pull it back off the trailer because there were some issues with that but yeah it's basically it does body is a kind of rough condition this fender needs to be painted oh yeah and it's got these uh nice little fender flares that were uh screwed on with wood screws and some uh I'm not even sure what all they're fastened on with. Had to drill, drill some of them out to get them back up. And oh yeah, you can still see them here. I think the wood screws with like washers on them, because these are look the same as the front ones. So yeah, there's some issues. Also, this door. You can open it from the outside. Works fine. The key does not work in there. And also, I don't know if you can see this. The door handle doesn't do anything so I think that the first thing you need to figure out is what tools I'm going to need and what I'm going to need what I'm going to need to be able to get the valve seals done that's the first thing that and then the tune because he wants to get running as soon as he can and I can't do that right now so once I got figured out what I need to do with that I'm going to get this figured out so the key doesn't maybe accidentally get locked in there or something like that um, also the battery has been re relocated to the trunk uh, I might show that real quick. When I picked it up, it had been sitting for a long time. It did not want to start for the longest time ever. And the trunk button, I believe, is in here. First time that I've had something with a button in the glove compartment. Seems kind of weird, but I don't know. Anyways. Battery's right there. Oh, yeah, and it comes with a catch can that hasn't been installed, and apparently it's got a short throw shifter. So, I guess we'll check some of that stuff out. Um, let me see. I'm not sure what else. Interior, I'd say pretty clean. It does have a little rip on the driver's seat there. AEM, uh, air fuel ratio gauge. And I think the interior pretty much stock. Let's have a short AGP, I think, short throw shifter. And overall, an engine bay, it's honestly a pretty mess, big mess. 
Oh yeah, and these headlights. This one, the bolt is like snapped off in the in the chassis, I guess. This one's like some random bolt. These were uh, riveted on. I had to drill them out. Yeah, and then the bumper was riveted on here as well. So we have to take care of some stuff here. And ECU, I believe that's what that is. It's just hanging there, kind of zip tied to some wires that are kind of holding it up. And then I guess someone had some other type of like lights on this thing. So they're kind of like hanging here, but the lights work and the lights are already in there. So I don't know how, where all the wiring is for this. But there's some like whole bunch, it's like a rat's nest back there. And then, yeah, this Grim Speed uh, boost controller, this line is looped around. So that's not doing anything right now. This is kind of a, I need to take care of this, figure out where we're going to put the um, catch can. And then, so there's that breather, and then there's uh, this. I guess I'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure what's going on there. So, and then there's just like random stuff around. There's some grounds that, this would probably be okay, but we need to take care of some stuff. Some grounds that just aren't really, kind of a mess. And there's like some um, random paint around on this thing. Just some, under the fenders is a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Several things we need to take care of, so. Gonna be some uh, videos out on this thing. Um, I might even just start it now. Uh, just get a sound clip for you guys. I'm not gonna let it run real long. Um, it does run and drive, but it's just not tuned and it's not gonna run real well. So probably get a sound clip for you guys. That's probably gonna be all for this video. Um, more video, oh, more videos coming. Just fixing some of the stuff on this car. Doing the valve seals. Um, first time working on a car like this, and it's also kind of my dream car as well. So like. I'll be learning a bunch of stuff with this car before I even get mine. So hopefully I can get one soon once I've got this one taken care of. And uh, I don't know, maybe maybe eventually, I don't know, he might have a professional shop do it or else maybe if I'm, by the time he wants to do it, I've done enough painting, I can do it or something. But anyways, um, pretty cool. I'll end this video off with a sound clip with this thing starting. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.